We've had a big planting push in North Dakota over the last two weeks that's allowed us to make really good progress putting crops in the ground. We have most of the corn in now and probably close to half the soybeans in already. So with that, it's a good time to get out and check emergence as we put crops into all different kinds of soil conditions so far. One thing I'm starting to see fairly frequently right now is some areas with crusted soils. Soils can crust for different reasons, but most often it's because we have finely tilled topsoil that gets a heavy rain followed by hot temperatures and wind. It can also happen as a result of tilling and planting into wetter soils and having heat and wind to follow. Regardless, it can be an issue as crops are trying to emerge. If a corn plant runs into a hard crust as it's trying to emerge, the coleoptile can rupture and allow leaf emergence to happen before emergence has occurred. On soybeans, the hypocotyl arch can swell and eventually snap if it has to push too hard to make it through a crust. Each scenario is very unique depending on crop stage and when the crusting occurs. Some cases can warrant rotary hoeing to break up the crusted topsoil. We do have some rain in the forecast, so if the crop is just below the surface and hasn't had any leafing out yet, that may soften the surface enough to help with emergence. At any rate, please reach out to your Pioneer team to help evaluate any of these situations you may be seeing. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.